Hi guys, so today I want to show you how I make my own stickers at home with my silhouette portrait tool. I've got here this cute guy uh, that I would like to make as a sticker. This is a file from Adobe Draw. In fact, I made this illustration on the iPad. Now what I need in order to prepare the sticker for Silhouette Studio is a PNG file with a transparent background. So I can save it and open it on the Silhouette Studio. In this case, I just need to create a white border all around the illustration and I'll show you how. Sorry that my version is in Italian. By the way, I'm going to click the trace button and then select the trace area. Now I can select the area that I want to become a sticker and I'm going to increase the threshold in the end. Now I've got all the area selected and then I just have to click trace. Here, as you can see, there's a red trace all around my cat and now I'm going to click offset And there it is, the white border that I needed. I'm going to delete the old one because I don't need it anymore. And then I just create a group and this is my sticker. Now I'm going to create a new file with all the stickers that I want to print and add the registration marks that you can find under the page settings here. You have to select the portrait cutting machine. Now I need to print this file. I will select photo quality and push print. This is the paper that I use for my stickers and it is an inkjet sticker paper. This one is glossy A4. This is the one that I easily find on Amazon here in Germany. The brand is called Photo Paper Direct and it's a good one. The printer that I use is a Canon Pixma and the model is MG5750 and it is just a multifunction printer, so nothing too fancy, not too expensive, uh, but used with the right paper it makes amazing prints. So now I'm ready to cut my stickers. I'm going to push uh, this sheet on the cutting mat that you usually get together with the silhouette portrait. This is a bit sticky, so I'm going to place it on the right spot and press down a little bit. I will show you. You have to place the sheet where it says A4 with the arrows in this direction. Now I'm going to open the cutting machine and load the mat. Great, now it's ready. Let's go back to the software and select the tab that says Send. The cutting lines are already recognized and you can see uh, from this red stroke here. You have to set which kind of paper do you want to cut. In my case it was just a white sticker paper. Uh, here I've got a personalized profile because it, for me it was better to cut with a number for blade instead of three. So this is the blade, this is how fast it would cut this is how strong and this is how many times it would cut. So I'm all set, now it's time to start the cutting. Now it's reading the registration marks. And now it's selecting the right blade number. I 
and let's go. So done! As you can see they already unstick themselves. Now I'm going to unload the mat and here we go. These are my own stickers. So guys this is the process behind my stickers production. I'm going to show you one of them a bit closer so you can see how cool they are. And yes, you can find this one and many more on my Etsy shop. I will leave you the link in the description in case you want to have a look. I hope you liked this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Leave me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao!